Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, Tea Sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy 4th of July. If you celebrate it, great. If you don't, that's great as well. But I just want everybody to be safe out here because, you know, sometimes fireworks sound like gunshots. So just be careful, okay? Anyways, I want to come on here and talk about all the drama, honey, that's brewing. Okay, once again, in the male podcast community, the girls are fighting, in my Zillia Banks voice. (laughs) The girls are fighting. No! (laughs) The girls are fighting. (laughs) Yes. What's the tea, sis? What's the damn tea? So if you guys do not know, Joe Budden is once again in his feelings, honey. Okay. So what happened is that six days ago, Joe Budden went on this huge rant about um, Andrew Schultz. And if you don't know who Andrew Schultz is, he's been in the podcast game for years. He came in um, kind of under Charlemagne. That's how I found him. But him and Charlemagne have a show together called Brilliant Idiots. And basically, Andrew Schultz has kind of veered off to go do, you know, his own thing. So he has a new podcast called Flagrant. And it's become very, very successful. And um, Joe Budden is definitely feeling away. And he decided to go on this long, well, it wasn't too long, honey, because if you want to hear the rest of the rant, you got to pay for it on Patreon, okay? Joe puts up snippets, just like Lovely T, Lovely Joe now puts up snippets. And if you want to hear the rest, you got to go to Patreon. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, the part that we're able to get, okay, is about 10 minutes of him ranting and raving, going, going in on Andrew Schultz, going in on Vlad TV, going in on Alex Jones. He is in his feelings, honey. So if y'all don't know, um, Andrew Schultz had interviewed Alex Jones three months ago on his podcast, and it was very successful, might I add. And I really think this may be why Joe is bothered, because on Andrew Schultz's podcast, that had over 42,000 likes, and there were over a million views, and that was just posted June 22nd, okay? Y'all check out this snippet. Everybody's got to lose in the end. Hmm. Because because we're the corporations, we only win, and that's what it is. So they want to control everything, build it up, destroy it, build it up, destroy it, because it's the managers of Hollywood and big media and big tech that literally have little dick syndrome and do not <laughs> like all the. T- all right, so you guys just heard the snippet of Alex Jones, you know, talking to Andrew Schultz and everything else. So for some reason, even though this took place, you know, on, in June, it seems to be irritating Joe's demons. Okay, Joe is definitely upset. He's not feeling it, and he's letting the world know. Y'all go ahead and check out his rant right now. I saw something that perturbed me and irked my soul. I'm going to say it, and we'll move right on. Andrew Schultz, love what he's doing in independent work. It's awesome. Makes his bones with a black man, a black man that runs a network called Black Entertainment or some shit like that, Black Effect. Mm -hmm. Makes his bones there. That black man has done all that he can to build this white dude up, get his name as big as possibly can, Something that your white comedian friends failed to do for however many years. And it's been working. Working to a T. Recently, Schultz, and I'm saying this, I'm not educated. I don't know. I don't follow any of these things. But recently I'm informed that Schultz has been doing the smart business move and aligning himself with the Roganers. Sounds like a genius idea, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm seeing clips now of Andrew Schultz with... What's his name? Alex Jones? That's his name? Yeah. Yeah. There's an Alex Jones. Yeah, it's a, a I don't know very right wing. The Roganer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been on Rogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, you say he's extremely yeah, right wing. It's him. It's him. Yes. 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 It's him. Yes. You know who yes. is? It's him. Yes. That's I'm him. seeing clips of Schultz with this guy. They're uh-huh. having a blast. They're laughing. They're, they're working. Who, who knows what they're doing? It disturbs me. It should. I get that. I would have a problem with it. The end. That's it. Wait, let me take that back. That's it. I want to know why. No, don't take it back. It should. No, no, no. I'm I'm trying to think. I'm trying to be logical here instead of emotional. No pun with the logic thing. But that is my issue with it. You can be black effect all day long with a black man. When it benefits you. And it be beneficial because sometimes white people got to find out. Hey, and it's not just sometimes white people. Uh, when you want to increase audience, like you were saying with your Kevin Samuels dating point, when you want to increase audience, you got to figure out how to do that. No, I said that with so, the girl. I know. So, I, And I like that point. What's that girl? Spotify was battling Apple for Call audience. me daddy. Oh, yeah. So Spotify said, I'm going to India. 
I'm going over there. Apple said, all right, nigga, we in India. We all, we, now it's a global, it's a global war mm -hmm. now. Uh, here in, in, in content world, there are some pockets of podcasting that we can't enter as black podcasters. We just can't. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not black, but you can't do it either because you with us. Yeah. Right? So the convenience and convenience. the duality that it brings being white and living in a black world or but, being but the partnered fact that in a it black world and then being so, able to jump but back and forth. But the fact that it could be so blatant Alex Jones is rumors of him funding the attack on the on the Capitol. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There's a whole rumor of that. I, I can't I can't confirm or deny it. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I can't go take a picture with somebody like that. Not not I when I can't take a pic. I they roasted Charlemagne's ass when he took that pic with a homegirl, Tommy Lauren. Mm -hmm. And the white people As well they should. And the white people but that's that's and the white point. that is and the white some of the man it just turns my stomach we are so accepting and loving and just oh ill but what's it's nasty what's man. the we can't say it's not the the play to make right because again he got a family that he has to and a lot of times we make sacrifices for money it's we do okay well can i say it's well, an independent point it's, hold up it's an independent point nobody's arguing whether it's a right or wrong play right like how could it how could it be a, how could it be a bad for Charlamagne to take a picture with Tommy Loren is a wrong play. Knowing all the shit she has said, she has a history, well, my nigga. She has books of bullshit that she has said. One, I think publicly, it's, it's for him to say, and two, when you come out, when you come out and reply and say, "Hey, you got to be open to hearing all science," like that's like an argument you can't poke holes True. in. You can't. But the picture, the picture, yeah. cool. We not canceling Charlamagne. We love Charlamagne. Black people, I'm saying. If Charlemagne were to go and sit down with Duke, it's a game Charlemagne can't play. He can't Indeed. go sit with Alex Jones. Indeed. Right. Indeed. And sooner or later, Candace Owens is going to learn this. Exactly. Exactly. She's going to exactly. learn. Exactly. They're going to learn her exactly. something. They're going to learn her something. They are definitely just, going to teach your dumb ass something. You will learn. I, I get what y'all saying. Only, in, only here do we allow it. It happens. Hey, you go fuck with the clan members and then come back. I'm with Royce. We should have made more of a, a bold, a bold, prominent example out of Vlad. Vlad was our mistake. That's the mistake. Mm. We should have learned his white ass something good. I've only been on that train since 07. You have been on yeah, it for a long time. Have. But that is where time. the mistake lie. And even after what he says about the minister and after all of his real nasty, disparaging, negative, snitchy government fed, heady ass comments. People will take it right? back. Still, when Elliot posted that Mount Rushmore of uh, the, the uh, media, the, the media people, Vlad popped right up in black comments. There may be an audience out there that's laughing at me for saying black comments. But I'm saying that purposely. He hopped his white fed head ass in black comments and said hey no disrespect i have better youtube numbers than all of them hey guess what you lying it may be true huh. it may be true he said that yeah in the comments joe sees everything you heard it i said it you write it online and i read it i see everything i see everything it may be true don't matter that bothers it, it would bother me too i'm sitting here saying you lying <clears throat> it bothers me how some white men are licensed to operate. I'm not going to say our culture here, but in the space. It's not fair. That's true. It's not fair. And I'm, it fucking sorry, turns my fucking stomach. I'm sorry to turn this. I'm in not. The, I'm not too hip. Summit time. I'm not too hip to summertime. Andrew Schultz history Maybe as far I don't as watch none yeah, of that but, shit. But, but I'm saying. But what I'm thinking is, <clears throat> if he is someone who has um, genuinely. And naturally, you a, you his a clown, base. nigga. You don't you, you don't agree with him and agree with him. <laughs> and that's, that's my point about scooty ass niggas. You right? You Good. can't agree with them both. You can't. Hey, you can't agree with your girl and the side. Not at the same time. <laughs> no, you just can't. Not, take, nope. You can't. You can't agree with two so, people to have so sharply can't, such yeah, so drastic yeah. views. Wait, so polar 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 and if I'm off in this, please tell me. But no, if you, you can't, can't, you can't play both sides of the I'm, What I'm trying to get to is if he's if he's trying to build the media platforms where he can go ahead and entertain both avenues, it doesn't mean that he has to align his ideas with 
whoever he's having on those. Because uh, Joe Rogan does it as well. He maneuvers. He in says so a bunch of bullshit too. Oh, cool. But but oh, he don't can, get he it. Can Joe up. Rogan but, panders to middle America white right wing niggas. He, Fam, Joe uh, Rogan like a month ago that's said, what he yo, does. single white men that's in America. That's what he does. Straight single, white men. Straight, straight white men. Hey, yeah, and straight. every time he do it, he do it every fucking week. I don't hear cancel culture come out and say a peep. They yeah, don't say nothing. I told you And y'all want to talk to me about jerking why. off some dogs? You fucking <laughs> dicks. No, yeah, that's real. Man, you if y'all don't suck last, my like fucking a month, dick. Like a month or two ago, he said, yo, um, uh, straight, straight white straight men white in man. America are basically losing the country and have say nowhere what he to want. go, some type of shit he like say that. say what he want with no what? recourse, no repercussion. You do what you want when you pop it. All right, so you guys just heard what Joe Budden had to say. You know, that was the free part. If you want to hear more, like I said, you got to go to his Patreon. You know what I'm saying? To hear the rest. But what I find very interesting about this is basically Joe's admitting that he doesn't listen to any of these people. He doesn't follow them. But yet he's upset. He feels like Andrew Schultz used Charlemagne the God. He used him to get in good with black people, and now he's pulling a Joe Rogan. And, you know, it's bothering him because he feels like, basically, you know, Andrew Schultz is a, is a guest in hip-hop podcast, I guess? I don't know. And he feels like Andrew Schultz owes something to the black community to not interview people like Alex Jones. Like I said, I don't feel like this was coming from a sincere place. I really don't. I feel like, once again, Joe's in his feelings, and he's upset because... Unfortunately, it seems like his podcast numbers are not doing that well ever since the whole broke up with Rory and Mal. I mean, a year ago in 2020, they were on fire. Um, he had left the Spotify deal. You know, he got with Patreon and he was getting sponsors and, and things like that. But even on his YouTube page, he's not doing the same numbers that he once was. And I believe that that might be why he's just taking his, his platform and slowly moving it over to Patreon. Because at least, you know, he'll have his hardcore supporters who are willing to pay for the content. And there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you want to basically cater to your paid demographic as opposed to just random people watching you on YouTube. So I definitely get that. But I just feel like this is coming from a really ugly place. Because one, he's so upset about these white guys, I guess, and we can call it hip hop podcasts, <laughs> um, even though they seem to talk about a wide variety of things. But, you know, Vlad is definitely more hip hop. And, I, you know, he's always had his issues with Vlad. I feel like at the end of the day, it's more about competition. It's not really the fact that he's upset about Alex Jones and this looks racist to have these two white guys up there key keying it up. You have no business, you know, rolling with Alex Jones when you got your platform via a black man and things like that. But if, if Joe Budden was sincerely upset about the Alex Jones angle, why did he not have the same energy with T.I.? That is the part that I don't understand, because if you guys do not know, Alex Jones appeared on T.I.'s podcast um, expeditiously. This was a year ago, and he went on there and they talked about conspiracies. I honestly couldn't listen to the whole thing. I tried to get into it, but T.I. is not a good interviewer, in my personal opinion. He likes to hear himself talk. And so it was just too much cutting off. As soon as Alex Jones is trying to make a point, it's like he's cutting him off. He was kind of coming off, kind of condescending. I just couldn't listen to it past like 10 minutes. I was out. But like I said, if he's upset about that angle, why was he not upset when T.I. interviewed Alex Jones first? If anything, these white people, not all, but, you know, they follow the trends that we set in media, in hip hop. So when they see a hip hop head like T.I. interviewing Alex Jones, for them, that's a cosign. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.